Let's see how to record our iPad screen. Now the first thing we need to make sure of is that we have the screen recording app in our control center. To check, if you drag your finger down the upper right hand corner of the screen, like so, the app you want to make sure you have here is the one I'm pointing towards right now. It's basically a record button. Now if you don't have that, here's how to add it. So I'll just exit the control center, and I click on settings, and right on the left hand side here, if you look underneath the general tab, you have the control center tab. So if you tap on that, there we go. The screen here is split into two. In the top portion, we have all of the apps that appear in the control center. And in the bottom part of the screen, we have all of the apps that we can add. You can see here that I have the screen recording app right at the bottom of the list here. So let's imagine for a second that I didn't have it. In other words, let's actually remove it. So I'll remove that app. There we go. To add the app, all you have to do is click on the plus icon, which is just on the left hand side of screen recording. So if I tap on the plus, the screen recording has now appeared at the bottom of the list again. Now that, that said, I exit the control center. To record my screen, all I have to do is go back to the control center by dragging my finger in the upper right hand corner, like so. And now I could just tap on the record button and that would start recording, but I usually long press. And here's why I do that. At the bottom here, you see a microphone icon, underneath of which, right now, there's written microphone off. Now, if ever I want to record my voice at the same time as I record the screen, all I have to do is tap on this icon. You can see here that the microphone icon has now gone red, and it says microphone on. So my iPad will now record my voice as well as the contents of the screen. On top of that, this also shows me where it's going to send the video to. I'm quite happy with it sending it to photos, which it does by default. So I'm ready to record and I tap on start recording. A countdown begins and now it's recording. Now if I exit the control center, I can see that it's recording because I have a red icon at the top right hand corner of the screen. And now I can pretty much record anything I want. Now I'm a math teacher and let's say I need to record a quick tutorial for my students. Well, one of the apps I like to use is Notability, which I have right here. So I could open that, and let's say I make a quick tutorial on how to add two fractions. So I could go ahead and write A over B plus C over D, and I could say that's equal to some formula that I won't bore you with now. Okay, now once I'm done with my tutorial, I would click on the red icon at the top here, and I'm now prompted with this, which says screen recording, and in particular, it's asking me if I want to stop the screen recording. I can either cancel to carry on, or I can press on stop. And if I press on stop, you'll see that I have a banner in the upper portion of the screen telling me that it saved that video to photos. Now that's done, I can exit this app. And if I go to photos, you'll see that the last thing I have here is the video I just recorded. And in fact, to show you that it also recorded my voice, if I turn the sound on, see that it's recording because I have a red icon at the top right hand corner of the screen. And now I can pretty much record anything I want. And there we go. So that's how we can record our iPad screen and save things directly into our photos to then share either via email, Google Drive, or of course, YouTube. And that's it for this tutorial.